Hello Internet World, welcome to a Monday morning and a mega gadget collection. These are your favourite videos and I absolutely love making these because I get to share with you loads and loads of technology and gadgets all in the one video. And rather than delay things, I just want to say a quick hello to everyone. This is live of course, so if you've got questions or comments throughout the video, please do use the live chat. But we're going to dive straight into it and get on to showing you the first product, which is a very affordable microphone, USB microphone, that's going to help improve the audio in maybe your voiceovers, your videos, or maybe your video conferencing calls as well. And there's no need to spend loads and loads of money on all of this technology. So this is a little tiny mic from Tonal. Uh, I'm going to show you up a little bit closer very shortly. Just quickly before I do, full disclosure, all of these products were sent in free of charge by their respective manufacturers. I'm going to share with you my honest opinion and all of the links to where you can buy them for yourselves are down in the video description. So let's get on with this. This is the Tonor TC777. Uh, really nice box actually, uh, really nicely presented. And when you take it out, it's already uh, all on the stand. So it's on like a, it's a little shock mount, ready to go. Uh, this is what it looks like so we've got a usb cable on the bottom of it and the only thing you really have to do is just sort of move this arm and screw the little tiny pop shield on and you can put this optional foam shield on as well if i was using this with the pop shield i probably wouldn't use this foam shield as well so it's a little tiny condenser microphone this is what it looks like really great little mic it comes already installed on its little tripod stand. Uh, you could mount it onto another microphone stand if you wanted to, uh, but this is perfectly adequate for this sort of weight of microphone. It is made of plastic, it's quite lightweight, uh, but the shock mount does suspend this, so that stops any vibrations coming through uh, in the audio from your desk. So if you're moving around on your desk, it's not gonna come through in the audio. One thing I would say is my thumb uh, got caught on one of these they are quite sharp the plastic on the inside so that could do with maybe filing down a little bit it was just bad luck that I picked it up like this and uh, that's quite a sort of sharp bit of plastic but apart from that really good build quality love that they include this little mini uh, shock mount uh, sorry mini uh, windshield as well or pop shield very very nice compact little tiny microphone now the sound on it is very clear it's not the best I've heard, of course, but you're not going to expect uh, sort of removing your audio. Uh, it's plug and play. And as I say, you can use this for things like your Skype calls, your Zoom calls, or even your voiceovers, any videos you're making. It's a great little microphone option. The fact that you get everything inside the box makes it an excellent value product. So this is the Tonor TC777. Very, very nice little mic. Let me just give you a closer up look at this very very nice indeed captive cable you can't change the USB cable in a long time so the next product I want to show you is this one here it's from iBlock Cube uh, it's their nimble and it's their travel charger 35 watt max output on this uh, and it's a really nice little product so let's take a closer look at this so it actually comes supplied in this little sort of carry case you get a USB-C cable inside here as well uh, let's just uh, show you the actual product itself but I'll also pop this into shot just so you can see the different ratings on the USB-C output also the um, power delivery and of course you've got a uh, really good array of ports on this you've got three USB-C's on the bottom now this is uh, now this is actually really rated to be used as a travel adapter but you don't have to use it as a travel adapter you can of course just use it as a USB-C uh, wall charger so that's an option uh, you, but of course you can use it as a travel adapter it does not convert voltage so all it's doing is converting the plug sockets and you've got these sliders on the side here so if we push this one out you'll see that we get a two prong uh, sort of flat blade uh, for perhaps the USA for example you can angle these as well and then there's a button on the opposing side and you push this button in on the opposing side and then slide this back and then you can put a three pin UK plug out and then again push this button in on this side slide it in 
and then you can have the two round pin uh, European type adapter. Very, very good indeed. Like the way that you can use this button to retract those and these all stay locked into position. And then you've got USB-C on this side and USB-C with power delivery, the three USB ports that I showed you there. And then of course a different array of pass-through sockets as well so you can still plug in a device into the front. So if you're using this in a plug socket you're not losing the ability to then plug something else in. So a really nice, uh, really nice product. Very, very well made. And then the addition of uh, this as well, the little curry case, is very, very good indeed. So let's move straight on. Uh, show you another product. So I've got another iBlock Cube product to show you in a, in a bit, but let me just show you this very quickly. Uh, this cooling egg stand. This is a little bit of a, I don't know, a little bit of a gimmicky product, uh, but it still works. Now it's like a, they call it a cooling egg and stand. Uh, it's from iClear Look, and you open this up, and you get basically two pieces like this. Let's just pop that over there. So you get two pieces like this, and the idea of this is that you can use this to uh, prop your laptop up. I'll show you it in use in a minute. But you also get this additional piece which folds out and then this goes onto your desk and then you can put your smartphone in it. I don't know, I'm not sure about this piece uh, but certainly the two little stands for your laptop uh, could prove very useful. Now you can see them on my desk here at the moment and if I grab my laptop like so you can see it just props the laptop up so it just raises the back of the laptop and then this gives you a nicer typing angle uh, so that you can get some airflow as well underneath your laptop. It's not very secure. Uh, they are made sort of like of a rubberized material, but at least you've got something that will give you some airflow underneath your laptop. So that is the little cooling egg stand. And then of course it all goes back together like a little sort of a nesting doll like so, and you can carry this around. So little tiny sort of a laptop stand. I have got another laptop stand to show you from the same company, and this one's a, a little bit more uh, technical. It does fold down, so you can fold this down into a nice compact size. Uh, this comes in this plain box here. This is also from iClear Look. So this is like a, a more fully featured laptop stand. And then you pull this out, and as you pull it out, it increases the angle of the laptop. You've also got these two little feet on either side. Uh, which retract up and down and, and sort of rotate round into position. So this goes onto your desk, like so. Let's just pull this out a little bit more and then grab my laptop again. And then this just lets you put your laptop in place and then you've got this up at a nice sort of uh, ergonomic position and you'd use an external keyboard with something like this. And it's giving you a nice angle, as you can see, a ni nice angle to the laptop and you can increase or decrease that. So I really like this product because it's nice and lightweight, uh, nice and portable as well. You can see there, it just holds the laptop very, very nicely in place. Very lightweight option on this one. Uh, one thing I do miss is there's no sort of um, foam pads on the top to protect the bottom of your lap laptop. I use a stand on mine anyway, so it's not a problem for me, but if that is, is, that, if that is a concern for yourself, uh, then you might want to just get some little sort of felt pads to put on here. And, and adapt it to you know to your own sort of liking and then of course you can put this all down into a nice neat little package it goes down like this and you get a little carrying case as well a little sort of a cloth bag drawstring pouch to carry this around in so again a really affordable portable laptop stand that goes down into this nice compact size so what should we show you, show you next? Well, let's have, first of all, let's have a look inside the live chat. We can see lots of questions from uh, Sabri Ali and Harry Walsh asking how much does it cost. All of the links to the products I'm showing you are down in the video description area. That shows you the current pricing. Uh, so please do check that out. Uh, we've also got Dorg saying, uh, missed you, man. Welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, let's show you a gaming headset, shall we? We've got this one here from Exa. This is the E900. I've actually uh, featured Exa products on the channel before. The E900 is really nice. You do get a 
carry pouch with this drawstring carry pouch to keep everything nice and then this is a wired headset you can see the cable here three and a half millimeter uh, audio cable on the end we've also got this inline uh, sort of remote control which has got like a mute function for the microphone and some volume on the side and then you've got the headset itself the boom mic you can adjust you can take this foam windshield off and it adjusts to all various angles you can detach this completely as well uh, and one other thing just to mention is you do get a Y splitter cable inside the box as well uh, full adjustment of course on the sides here so these these come out these pieces of metal nice design definitely a gamer design on this and you've got a little spiraled loop uh, cables just connecting through the headband nice amount of padding as well on the headband and this is a, a very comfortable headset and of course you can get that microphone into position nicely it's just a nice comfortable gaming headset now this sounds great again a great value product as well do check out those links down in the video description for the price you're paying for this you're getting re really clear audio quality uh, through the headpiece there or through the headset the uh, boom mic it's good it's not the clearest microphone pickup I've heard but it's more than acceptable it's not bad it's just I have heard better but then you've got to consider the price on this but the build quality and the actual audio quality you're experiencing is top-notch really good sort of frequency range on these and great if you're doing those late night gaming sessions and you don't want to disturb anyone uh, just a really nice good quality very very affordable gaming headset uh, with good quality audio as well like the uh, inbuilt uh, microphone or inline um, inline remote not microphone I like the inline remote here and the fact you can mute the mic if you want to and also the fact you can detach the mic is a really nice feature what do you think of the styling of this guys anyway let me know in the comments section below what you think of the actual styling I really like it it's a nice lightweight headset super comfy to wear for prolonged periods of time as well so moving on that was the EXA E900 let's have a look at another product from uh, iBlock Cube this is really cool this is uh, one of their power sockets and I really do like this let's take a closer look at this so this is uh, again from iBlock Cube this is their power socket rated to be capable of uh, handling 300 watts and it's just really nicely designed it's available in black or white we've got the black version here mine is a UK model so of course we've got a three pin UK plug nice long power lead worth noting a nice long power lead on this uh, but the features here are really nice we've got individually switched sockets and we've also got three USB sockets here as well so we can turn these uh, on and off individually nicely really nicely engineered this is it's such a satisfying click so really great build quality on here absolutely fantastic build quality uh, now these have micro switches on them which is why you're getting that really nice feel to them there's also overload protection uh, and then you've also got these USB sockets uh, which give you 2.1 amp output really great quality product absolutely superb you can mount this uh, on a wall if you want there's little sort of keyhole mounts little rubberized feet on the bottom as well uh, the cable that I mentioned earlier I should just uh, clarify this is a two meter cable and it's just a really well constructed power socket absolutely superb the model number on this is the IBCMX but alas you don't have to remember that because the links are down in the video description but I just love the fact that these are individually switched really great power socket and just really nicely made from iBlock Cube so have we got anything else to show you yeah I've got one more product to show you I think so let's just move this one out of the way uh, I'm really impressed with this this is great I, I always run out of plug sockets and I always do actually get one of my pet peeves is when you turn on at the main wall socket that everything turns on so I like the fact that those are individually switched but I have got one more product it is a smaller product to show you and this is from Orki uh, these are the EPT21 uh, the little tiny wireless earbuds and uh, 
I really enjoyed my time testing these out. They've got a good battery life, a nice compact case, as you can see here. Let's just give you a bit more of a close up of this. Really nice compact case. And if we open this up, you can see the design of the earbuds there. I will take these out very shortly. And then we close the case and we come around to the back. It's micro USB, it's the USB C to charge the battery in the case. You're going to be able to recharge the earbuds a couple of times from the battery case. And the reason I like these is because they've got a nice balance to them, not just in the audio quality, but in the design. So if you have a look at how these are designed, it's quite a familiar design with this sort of stalk coming down. Uh, but I just like the fact that when you've got these in your ear, this really does balance them in the ear. So they're, they it sort of goes down into the ear canal a little bit with these silicon ear tips. And the little bit of extra weight on here just pulls them down and makes them fit really nicely. So these are super, super comfortable. You can see there the little contact points for the charging case. Very, very nicely designed. Uh, and the audio quality is exceptional on these as well. Very nice vocal quality. Don't go very low in the bass frequency. Uh, and the higher frequencies at times sound a little bit clinical, but it's the mid-tones and the clearness and naturalness of the sound of these that I really do like. And that's probably got something to do with the fact that I watch, uh, sorry, listen to uh, a lot of podcasts. Uh, also watch a lot of videos as well with uh, earphones or headphones. And the vocal clarity on these is very, very good indeed. And then when you finish with them, oh, when you finish with them, you can just pop them back in the charging case like so and they snap into place and then start charging very very nice indeed really cool little uh, product here and the reason i think i like this so much is because as with most orky products they use plain packaging they concentrate all of their focus on the actual product and these are very very affordable and they sound great just for a very easy to use pair of in-ear earphones uh, fully wireless, very comfortable, good battery life, overall good quality sound. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong with these. If you're really into your bass frequencies, like really heavy bass, then probably not. And if you're into your really fine detail, then probably not. But for this price point, these are really good for all different genres of listening. And as I say, I tend to just sort of sit back, listen to a podcast, an audio book, or watch a video, and these are ideal for something like that. So that is it for this Mega Gadget Connection. I think I've covered everything. What do you think? What was your favorite product? Let me know in the comments section below which was your favorite product in this Mega Gadget Collection. If you want to check out the manufacturer's websites, they're all down in the video description area, as are links to where you can purchase all of these products for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. Thanks for tuning in live, everyone, including uh, La1980. Good morning to you. Thanks for tuning in live. Uh, and just thank you for your uh, sort of viewership. I really do appreciate it. Geek Noise have been around for a long, long time now. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. If you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon.